My name is Peter Bronze. I've lived in Alaska almost 40 years. I am working with stoneware and porcelain clays and some Healy clay, which is dug in Healy, Alaska. I've been working in clay basically since I was a kid and I was 13 years old and I was making pots at the university studio in Wisconsin where my dad was teaching. And then I had a year of university in Fairbanks in 1979 and I set up a little tiny studio and made pots there. Throwing on the wheel is an interesting term. It's actually from an old English, medieval English word, throwen, which means to turn. And the wheel turns and the clay is in your hands and the clay is wet. And as the wheel turns, then you can shape. And once they're thrown, there's always something to do. The pot is not hardly ever finished right away. It's soft when you throw and then the next day it gets stiffer. It's almost like using a paring knife and it would be like hard butter, like really cold butter. And it's going on the wheel and you can pare away some of the extra clay. One of the great things about being a potter is that the tools you need are really basic. I need a warm room and I have my potter's wheel, which is an electric wheel with a very fine-tuned foot pedal. I have a porcupine quill I use for testing thickness. I have a couple of trimming tools, which are basically like a little piece of metal that's kind of sharp that I can use for trimming away the tool when it's leather hard. So there's all these different steps after a pot has been thrown <clears throat> before it goes into the kiln the first time with no glaze and is fired to about 1800 degrees. And then it comes out of that kiln, that's called the bisque firing. Then they're glazed. The glaze is the, what most people see on the surface of the piece as the color. And it's the skin of the pot. So if it's something like a pitcher, I would pour the glaze in the inside, roll it around, pour the glaze out, and then maybe I'll put a glaze on the outside. Maybe I won't, it depends on what kiln it's going into. And then I'll do some decoration with iron or cobalt or chrome or copper. Then it goes in the kiln. It's in the kiln for about 12 hours, 12 hours to cool down. And then where the flame goes through the kiln colors those pots with ash and flame. And then when we unload the kiln, we have this visual three-dimensional record of where the flame went in the kiln. And then it comes out and then it's ready to use. It's basically about 30 steps between when I got the clay, when it came out of the glaze fire. The skill that I have in my hands right now is what took to make that pot, and that skill took me 30-something years to acquire.